We all know that smoking is bad for you. There's even a possibility that there was a horribly frightening advertisement for this video featuring some person who talks through a hole in their throat. You shouldn't smoke, and you know the reasons why. Or do you? There are, in fact, some really surprising and weird reasons not to smoke in addition to all of the normal horrible ones, and we're gonna talk about a few of those now. Number one. Smoking makes your boobs sag. That's right, boob sagginess is a real scientifically studied thing, and among the risk factors are being overweight, having larger breasts, having babies, and smoking cigarettes. Things that do not affect boob sagginess, whether or not you breastfeed, weight gain during pregnancy, and lack of upper body exercise. So now you know. Two, like listening to music? Watching movies? Hearing? Things? Smokers are 70% more likely to develop hearing loss than non-smokers. Even worse, development of hearing loss in smokers happens much earlier than in the general population. Smokers start losing their hearing in their 40s or 50s instead of their 60s or 70s. Number three, if you're not worried about saggy boobs because you don't have any boobs, allow me to scare the cigarette right out of your mouth. Men who currently and formerly smoked were about 30% more likely to suffer from impotence. So while you, and maybe even your lady friend, might think that that cigarette sticking out of your mouth makes you look super sexy, it's not gonna matter if you can't get it up. Four, if you don't care what you look like or whether you can get it up and you don't have any kids and you live alone with a bunch of dogs and cats, Think about their health. Secondhand smoke has been proven to cause nasal and lung cancer in dogs and malignant lymphoma in cats. This might seem inconsequential when compared to the human health risks, but 37% of smokers said that clear evidence that smoking was bad for their pets would motivate them to quit. And finally, number five. You like being happy? In a study of more than 7,000 adults, smokers were found to be less happy than non-smokers and ex-smokers who had quit more than one year previously. Healthy body, healthy mind, I suppose. Too bad those things are so freaking addictive. My strategy, which has worked for me thus far, is to never let one of those things anywhere near my mouth. I suggest you try it too. Thank you for watching this episode of SciShow. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave them down below in the comments, or you can get in touch with us on Facebook or Twitter. And if you want to continue getting smarter with us, go to youtube.com slash scishow and subscribe. We'll see you next time.